Let's go through the next best performances again. Not in any particular order, but the best performances from Rome, Oslo, and Stockholm. We kick things off with the men's 100 meter dash in Stockholm. Andre de Grasse looking to keep up his winning ways, fresh off back-to-back -back wins in Rome and in Oslo. And here, he didn't disappoint. Let's check out the call. Well, away they go, keeps very low, De Grasse leading at the moment, marginally good running two from Perez in lane two, but De Grasse is dragging Maite with him, although he eases away over the second half to win it by a metre and a half or two metres, and look at the time, 9.70, the wind, plus 4.8. Plus 4.8 wind, though? The time was later rounded down to 9.69, but even with that wind, for a guy to be able to time his body up, to be able to run and turn over that fast, and to put a time like that on the clock, I mean, you can't overlook that. His body now knows what it feels like to run 9.69 seconds, and it's shaping up to be a very exciting clash of the Titans with him and Usain Bolt. The old, the new, the tall, the short, the legend, and the prospect. All right, you get the idea. Men's high jump in Oslo and returning to our best moments is Mutaz Esabarshim, already with the best jump of the world at 236. And in Oslo, we see him getting up, 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 like for real. 2.38 meters, a new meet record, a new world leading jump. And we still got about two months left in the season. Hey, I found this funny though. Look at this replay and look at the background. Yeah, 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 right there. That's Canada's Derek Druid. Now, Barshim in the past has gone into a championships with the best jump of the world, and somehow, some way, Druin finds a way to win. Is that gonna happen this year? We'll find out in August. And let's keep jumping over stuff. World record holder Aries Merritt of the USA able to will his way to the victory in 13.13 seconds. May not seem that impressive on the clock, but him rounding into form and getting this Diamond League victory against a field like this is significant. Why, you ask? Well, it's the first Diamond League victory that he's had since he had a kidney transplant. Yes, I said what you think I said. After he got his kidney transplant back in 2015, a lot of people didn't even know if he was gonna be able to continue with his track career, but with this performance, he shows that he's back, uh, he's ready to beat the best in the world, and he could possibly battle to be back on top of the hurdling world once again. Who likes a feel-good story? I like a feel-good story. Karsten Warholm competing in the 400 meter hurdles on home turf in Oslo, getting super hyped before his race. The new Norwegian record over the flat 400 of 44.87. He would have won the flat 400 tonight. He was probably just seen as a lane filler, but this wasn't just a pre-race show. Warholm comes through with a new personal best, a new national record, 48.26, two tenths faster than his previous personal best. This guy rose to the occasion, made the fans in Oslo, war with the pride of a nation. <laughs> it's kind of funny because his pre-race antics probably would have served better if it came after he won the race, but that wasn't happening because he literally competed outside of his capabilities. I mean, look at him, he was done. Helen O'Beary, 5,000 meters in Rome, lapping competitor after competitor. She runs the final two laps of the race pretty much all by herself. She clocks a 14 minute, 18.37 second race, the eighth fastest time ever in history. She's now the fourth fastest woman ever in this event. I don't even get how distance runners do what they do. I mean, this race in particular is 4,900 meters too low. Yeah, 4,900 meters too long for me. Just like before, if I missed a moment that you feel like was worth mentioning, don't hesitate to let me know, and again, at the end of the Diamond League season, I'm gonna be doing a countdown of the best Diamond League moments of the year. We're halfway through, and it's only getting better. 